everybody. Merry Christmas. I am so excited. We are down to like a couple of weeks and we're going to be there. Um, I just wanted to make a quick video to tell you guys Merry Christmas. Hopefully you still have time to try out this amazing design. Um, but if you're looking for a Christmas present for yourself, know that I would love to have you join me in our Fairy Fox Friends class. We meet once a week, two hours, and it is an amazing opportunity to just chill out with other people that love face painting and delve in a little bit deeper. We go through all kinds of different topics. And one of my favorite things is when you guys suggest topics. So it's a pretty small group. Um, you definitely have the chance to get to know other people a little bit and enjoy this wonderful world. If you don't have time or can't afford that option, I am really excited to continue to upload free content here on YouTube. All right, so here we go. The reason I wanted to make this movie for you guys today is because I know for me, I work on butterflies and unicorns and kitty cats all year long. And then Christmas comes and it's like, oh no, what do I do? And so I wanted to show you guys that you already know how to paint the Christmas unicorn. So let's get started with that. We're going to be using a filbert. Um, I've got a half inch one that I'm using and we're going to load it up with a brown one stroke. And of course, unicorns at Christmas time eat a lot of chocolate and they turn brown. So here we go. This design works really well up here on the forehead, but I'm gonna do it here on the cheek. So we do our nice big circle right here. And I like to try and fill up quite a bit of space. That initial circle is going to set the stage for whatever else we have going on. Then we're gonna come here and we're gonna do a tight little circle just the way we do our unicorns. We're gonna come right up here, put a little ear on our Christmas unicorn so it can hear the sleigh bells ringling, ring ting tingling too, ha <laughs> Okay, here comes the neck of our unicorn, awesome. Now, one of the funny things that happens to unicorns at Christmas time is their horns change. So we're gonna grab a round, this is just a number five, and instead of white, we are going to dip that horn in chocolate as well. A nice uh, light chocolate, maybe more of a caramel. And we're going to get this color. And we are going to do our unicorn horn in the reverse direction. We're going to just put it on right there. One teardrop is perfect. We're going to come forward and do a second teardrop. Now, this first one goes in front and the second one stays behind. Then we're going to go in the opposite direction again. And we're going to do a little tiny baby one right there and a little tiny baby one right there, and that is it. Okay, now wash that brush really nice and go and load up some red. And for this, unicorns can't handle the cold very well, and so they get colds, and we've got a nice little sinus infection <laughs> and a runny nose, so it's got a nice red nose. And you can probably tell at this point, we are drawing a reindeer, but don't be intimidated. If you're like, I can't do a reindeer, all you have to do is the Christmas unicorn. Now, I miss unicorn hair. I bet you do too, but we can still sneak it in there. Let me show you how. We're going to double load, uh, well, one stroke load our filbert with some green. And we're going to bring that green right here and we're going to put the unicorn hair onto 
our reindeer right there. Then instead of doing the regular swoop under the eye like we would for the bangs, we're gonna bring this green clear up here. And it is just gonna become a nice little Christmas ribbon for us. And what can be even more exciting than green by itself is when we add our red in as well. So if you have a Christmas one stroke, by all means, throw it in there. If you don't, know that they are the simplest things to make. You just use your red one stroke and your green one stroke and magically you have a Christmas. It just takes, it's, it's called two stroke painting instead of one stroke painting. Um, anyway, here we go. The Christmas jokes, they just keep coming. All right, then we've got this here. I've got that little bit of brown showing up down there. And so I'm just going to bring that in the rest of the way. And now you can see we've got a nice little flurry. If you want, you can absolutely do it in blue so that it looks like Christmas uh, weather <laughs> instead of the Christmas ribbons. And that is where the reindeer are always going, right? Is up into the skies. So no worries if you're not in the mood for red and green, just make it blue. Then we've got white here and a couple things we're gonna do with it. We're gonna come right here and put a nice little eye. Make sure when you're placing the white for your eye, you want to keep a forehead space and you wanna keep a cheek space. So that eye usually ends up right in the middle of that initial circle. Okay, then we're just gonna come here and use that white to put in some fun teardrops right on top of that. It's gonna help it not look like the hair we're pretending it is. And then you can even add some swirls. You can add the stars, whatever shapes make you feel in the festive mood. This will get us right where we need to be. Reload there. Um, one of the things I absolutely love when I'm doing Christmas detail work is to play with snowflakes. So if you have any open spaces, you can totally turn the little um, four point stars that we do all the time. Just replace those with little baby snowflakes and it is so much fun. So this is very um, whimsical Christmas. I love it, but we are so used to doing these teardrop um, swirl combos anyway, and they are a wonderful thing to add in. So there's a little star snowflake and then a little bit more snow. Um, I love to add it in the corner of the eye. I also want to make sure I'm not forgetting to highlight my little reindeer Christmas unicorn. There we go. Add a little one right there. And then let's put in another snowflake right here. Awesome. One more here. And snowflakes actually have six little ice spires. So you can get away with doing five or seven or eight or whatever, but if you want it to read snowflake really well, you'll want to stick to six. Okay, so now that we've done Christmas uh, party all around our little reindeer, let's go ahead and do the um, outlining line work. Now this can be a time when we feel pretty intimidated, right? Um, we're using black and it's gonna, you know, this is where we're gonna mess it all up. Totally not true. So we're gonna zoom in here a little bit. This is gonna give us the chance to really um, do a good job. There we go, zoomed in a little too much. Perfect. Okay, so what we wanna pay attention to, we want to outline top down. That helps us so much. So we're gonna come right here and we're gonna just outline this little ear to start. I do the ears because if I'm going to mess up in my black is too thin and it's going to be runny or um, maybe the kid is wiggling or so, you know, whatever those little mess ups, um, the ear is a great place to mess up. So it's almost like I'm testing before I come in here and do the nose or the eye or something where um, I really don't want any bumps or wiggles. Okay. So then I'm going to come right here and I'm going to do this one that comes in front of the head. And we can even just do like a shadow, a drop shadow to that antler. We don't have to outline every single part of it. And we can even add, you know, just a little bit of detail on top of it, like we did the ear, if you're looking for some texture. Then this one's gonna come behind. There we go, perfect. Okay, now we have the forehead. And I love reindeer to have a little bit of fluff, a little bit of fuzz. So I don't want my lines to go onto the brown. I wanna keep them here but it's really fun to just add a nice little curl 
and maybe a couple little scoops in. Now we have a little bit of a hairdo. I think it's cute. You could totally add or not add that into your Christmas unicorn, but let's talk about the eye here. So I like to do my mouth first because that gives me the cheek line that I'm going to follow. So we're going to come right here and we're going to go down and up. I'm just following the brown that I had in there. Then I'm going to skip the nose for a second, come right here, and I'm going to bring in that little smile. Perfect. Now I've got a little extra brown right here. Totally fine, doesn't matter, but I'm not going to outline it all the way because I want my chin to be behind the tip of my face. So face is here, chin is here, and you can see it just kind of does this nice slope back. Then I'm going to just grab that line right there, make sure I outline the neck, and then you can add a little bit of fur right there and then just kind of scoop it down. I'm not going to outline this because I want that Christmas to come in front. If my black continues, it's going to create a really skinny little neck and this reindeer is not going to be able to eat its Christmas dinner. So just leave that emptiness there and your eyes will just make it all work. So right here we have half of the cheek. I'm going to add the other half of the cheek right here. It makes the unicorn so happy. This little reindeer is just awesome. Then a couple different ways we can finish this eye. Um, I'm just going to do my regular unicorn eye. So I'm going to trace around the top. I'm going to lay down heavy and then lift. That gives me a nice little winged eyeliner. And then I'm going to just come down and fill in that little corner right there. And then if you want, you can add a couple little other ones. Oh, so fun. And then the reason that we always point the face towards the center of the human face, um, instead of having a unicorn or a reindeer that's reversed and like looking off the face, um, is because this is the focal point. And so I want this little reindeer to be looking at that focal point. So I'm putting the highlight right there. And that just makes this so perfect and so happy. I've got a big open area right here. So I'm going to add just a little eyebrow to show that we are not scared or angry or mean. Eyebrows are so expressive. And then I'm going to wipe the black off of my brush. It makes my tip really narrow. And that lets me get a smaller outline to come on in. And it just keeps the red, the main color there, but it doesn't make it empty. And look, you guys, we just painted a Christmas unicorn. It didn't take us very long. And she is so happy with this little creation. Please take your unicorns and turn them into merry and bright Christmas. Um, I am so happy that, that YouTube was created. So we have this chance to spend time together to share um, artwork back and forth. And I hope that you're having the merriest of holidays. We'll see you next time.